The, the three treatments that you've talked about, the PRP, prolotherapy, uh, stem cell treatments, what are the benefits in trying to heal the body with those avenues, basically using the body's own healing mechanism versus, you know, the anti-inflammatories and the, you know, more conventional ways of yeah. treating those conditions? Right. Well, the, the old way to treat things would have been, gosh, my knee hurts, let me give you one of those cortisone shots. Mm -hmm. And the problem with cortisone is as we're finding more science out about what cortisone really does, uh, people always think, oh, I got the steroid, I got all this energy, but it's actually the wrong kind of steroid. It's a steroid that actually breaks down the body. So what we're finding with cortisone, when you put cortisone into a joint, it actually breaks down that cartilage and makes it more friable, it makes it softer, mm -hmm. it makes it more like cottage cheese. If I would do one of the side effects, if I put cortisone too superficial into my skin, it can actually create an ulcer and eat away that skin. It almost works as a little acid. So it does the same thing inside your joint. So it can kind of erode and make that cartilage thinner. It does a good job of blocking the pain for about two weeks. Mm -hmm. The problem is in the long run with cortisone are all the negative side effects with it. Same thing, if I put cortisone into my elbow right here, into that tennis elbow, it's going to block my pain, but it's also going to make that elbow more vulnerable to rupture that tendon off because it makes that, that tendon actually very weak and very friable. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's also systemic side effects. That means it can increase your blood sugar, increase your risk of diabetes. So we're finding with cortisone, unfortunately, it doesn't have any good long-term effects. In all the studies, when it puts, you know, head-to-head -head studies between cortisone versus PRP is the PRP way outperforms on the long run because this can give you some short-term relief for a week or two. The PRP is going to outperform and get your body healed in the long mm -hmm. run. When we talk about stem cell treatments, you said that's kind of the new wave. Are we just kind of scratching the surface of what, can be possible with those treatments? Yeah, I really think so. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, variabilities. There's so much research going on now. Uh, what we're finding is that it is amazing. It is getting the body to repair cartilage. It's getting the body to heal. It's increasing people's range of motion, increasing the return to sports and activity. Uh, but again, science is amazing. I and mean, we're finding out new things every year on how to you know, how to add some stuff to the stem cell to make it adhere better or to how to make that stem cell turn more into this type of cartilage versus that type of cartilage. So, yeah, it is exciting in that point of view because it is mm -hmm. kind of the surface, but we're already getting such amazing results. It's going to be a good, good outcome for patients.